fixing to kill you. Why would you do that, sir? Because you ain't worth a piece of shit. I am too, sir. I'll block your tax, sir. Thankfully, I'm a good dodger. Now, sir, can you just take your cart back? Sir, I'm a cart and And we are into another new hour. Insensitivity training for a politically correct world. It is Monday morning. It's July the 8th, 2024. Thank you for being here, giving us some of your valuable time today. I'm Woody. That's Greg Gorey. Hi. We got uh, Menace. What is up, Woody? Menace. There's Seabass. Yeah. We got Sammy. Morning. Phones are open. We'd love you to be a part of the show. Anytime you want to call in, never need an invite. 877-44-WOODY is the phone number. You can also hit us up with a text. You can send that text over to 22987. Got a brand new Redneck News coming up for you this hour. And you might have noticed that yesterday was the beginning of Shark Week on Discovery. Sweet. The yeah. annual summer tradition, which is Shark Week, which means only one thing, that this week here on The Woody Show, it's Narc Week. Nice. Yes. Woody Show cart narcs. Narc Week. Agent Sebastian out trying to get people to do the right thing and return their carts to the card corral. Uh, you can follow at Cartnarks on Instagram. I did see like somebody who had bought a Cartnark shirt. I guess it was a return to sender. I had to put it on your desk this morning. See that? Yeah, because oh. yeah, this the it radio was merch station, gone wrong. Yeah, because yeah, I, oh, I don't I don't send out my own merchandise. I have a third party company, but this is the business address. So if it gets returned to sender, it comes back here, <laughs> right? As opposed to the manufacturer, <laughs> who I, I I don't touch it at all. Yeah. So now, so I got this shirt. I'm like, oh great, great. Now I'm freaking yeah. customer service over here. Yeah. <laughs> a shirt that somebody paed for. Yeah, so oh. I will, won't get their shirt. I will try. To, I'll reach out to them and see if uh, they, what the issue, the wrong yeah. address or something, whatever. Well, it's uh, it's Cart Narcs. We're going to do it each day this week in honor of uh, Shark Week on Discovery. It's Narc Week here, and what do we got, Seabass? Well, because of that, we have a special treat: International Cart Narcs. Yes. International oh, yeah. Cart Narcs. How's the pie? Well, this is actually how's their trolley because That's right, anywhere except for the like North America, the North America. They call carts trolleys because apparently they think they're parts of trains. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or, they, or they belong in San Francisco going up and down hills. So sure. That's just what happens. So this and I, in England where I was, most of the trolleys, the carts, are locked up with the old uh, coin and chain system. You can uh -huh. see that here in the States and right. Canada at Aldi right. and places like that. So that they have no problems with carts. Right. Yep. So, but, but there are a few stores that don't use the chain system. Uh -huh. But most people are still, they're kind of trained. They're like, oh, I'm, I'm trained. Even to though be I'm, normal. Even yeah. though I'm not getting my pound back my coin back, I'll put it back. This lady did not. She had a, a cart right in front of her car. She's kitty corner from the cart return, the trolley return. So it would have taken her 10 steps to put it back. But you know what took three steps? The empty spot right across from her. Oh, oh, and almost kind of in the front of the, the other person's car as well. Mm -hmm. So it's loose. It could blow and hit things. So I approached her, Agent Sebastian did, and asked her kindly if she would mind leaving her or putting her trolley where it belongs. Did you see who left this trolley here? Not my trolley, so why am I going to move someone else's trolley? They left it in front of my car. Right, which I agree is bad. That's terrible. But I would think the nice thing to do would be just steal right over there. <laughs> well, it's not anybody's job, technically, to be a decent person. <laughs> okay, so wow. her, her excuse was it wasn't actually her trolley. Okay. okay. Someone else left it there. Okay, that's okay, I get it. That sucks. All right. Okay. But you're not helping the situation by kind of blocking the person next to you slash leaving it out in an open space. It's Sure. You know, if there's a, a dog do in front of your doorstep one day and you take it and put it in front of your neighbor's doorstep. Right, you haven't done it. Yeah, it's kind of a dick yeah. move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and, and again, she was kind of dismissive of me. You could tell she knew she did something wrong. Cause it's not my trolley. It's not my job. So I have a cart and arcs magnet that says I don't return my shopping cart like a jerk. And I said, well, because of your nasty attitude, lady, uh, you're getting one of these. Oh, no. She like talked to me about it and said, hey, would you move it for me? I would have done it for her. But uh, you know the cart and arcs magnet here. You uh, want to move away from my car right now? Ma'am, you just hit your now door into that car. Don't be putting nothing on my car. Take this away. That's a double negative, madam. Take this away. Move yourself away from me now. <laughs> madam. How dare you come over to me? I just asked you for like, I was, I was is being, it my, is it my problem? well, I no. saw you move it over here. <laughs> but I saw it. my trolley? No. Madam. <laughs> move the fuck away. Why are you being so rude to me? Well, the F word translates yeah. to any language, really. Yeah, and I didn't realize place. Adele did her own shopping. Hello. <laughs> Hello, is this your trolley? No, it's someone else's. I'm Adele. <laughs> but that, that, this is a classic. This, the great psychology in Cart Narcs is when you are called out for something wrong and you know you screwed up, yeah. anger is always the yeah. first. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Just I, yell. Because I, I was actually I was at a, a Costco, which they have in, in Great Britain, and I saw this lady do the same thing. And, she, and I said, oh, what's this here? And she said, oh, no, the guy who's pulling in my spot said to leave it there. She was kind. She was calm. Right. She just mm -hmm. explained what the situation was. And I said, okay, no problem. See you later. 
But when she, this this c word <laughs> ramps it up, <laughs> she knew she was wrong. She knew yeah. she was being a, a you know a jerk. So anyway, so it just so happens there's a bunch of employees right across the way. So now I've got not only this chick yelling at me, but the employees they they always they side not for, against the lazy bones. They side against whoever's loudest. Of course, you know whoever's making yeah. a fuss. Oh, they yeah. must be in the. Well, the right. customer's always right. Even though, as you heard, I'm even saying, "Madam, I'm 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 a cust I'm." You know, using her language, being so, yeah, being so polite. Yeah. Exactly. So the employees now gang up on me. Move the madam, I was, I was simply, I, I was, I was asking her why she left this trolley right here. Madam, so let me explain real quick. My name's Agent Sebastian. I'm with the Cart Narks. What are you doing here in the car park? Well, see what happens. I'm keeping people from being lazy, like this lady was. What she did is she took her trolley, which was in front of her car. Bad, I agree. But she left it right here in an open spot. When the car, that's nothing to do with you, though. That it is, though. It's my job. No, no, no. Do you see Cart Narks? No, I work for the Cart Narks. So who, who's the cardinal? Cardinal. Oh, he wow. was the cardinal. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've heard that accent before. I think it's like the, it's uh, the the gunk or whatever his name on. on it's like it's oh, a specific type of British accent. Con, yeah, Kunk on Earth. Kunk on Earth. Yeah, no, that's what her was accent. That, like frumpy huh. lady that one American got talent. <laughs> well, that's that's Scottish. Oh, oh Susan Boyle. Yeah. Yeah. Susan Boyle. She it sounds might, like Susan Boyle. It might be related to that. Anyways, yeah. it's so, Susan Boyle and it's... Adele together. <laughs> <laughs> So I've got now two or three different ladies. What's a school? What's a carty knock? Yes. You know, yelling at me. Then another guy comes up, and eventually I'm like, okay, look, guys, look how easy this is. You don't have to yell. You can just do this instead. You well, leave her alone. My sh you. No, ma'am, please. Well, why would you, you keep going yeah? back? Because she's not learning her lesson. I don't need to learn a lesson. You need to learn you your lesson and move the. Wait. Now, why are you being so rude to me? Don't right. touch my car. It's not that valuable. It's all scuffed up down there. You're not valuable. Move your yourself away now. Madam, but no, what's upsetting what's people is people dinging is people with their trolleys and hitting people with their... People who, that weren't even my trolley. I moved it out of the way of my You car. know what a better response would have been? Simple as that. Oh, no, watch what I'm doing. Watch what I'm doing. Not my trolley, but I'm putting it back. Oh, <laughs> Why is it kind of hot <laughs> when like chicks with foreign accents swear? <laughs> you effing ass. It's kind of like it's much cooler. I would tolerate that. Like uh -huh. I get annoyed if like some American chick does I, I'm it. I'm honestly surprised how heated they got. Because you think uh, the British yeah. are polite. I, They're above it. This yeah. is in Croydon, which no one's ever heard of, and you would never. It's you know uh, maybe an hour south of London. And I was walking around the area. I was like, oh, this isn't a good neighborhood. Yeah. And so I think I think trash kind of translates. Okay. And sure. A classic Cartnarks move we've heard a thousand times before is instead of having a conversation, it's well, what we need to. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, you know, no one can finish a sentence because everyone's yeah. screaming. It's the Maury. It's the not the Maury. The, the uh, uh, he's dead now. Uh, Jerry Springer. Oh right. Yeah. Uh, Syndrome right. where I can't have one sentence before. Yeah. Right. Anyway, so uh, unfortunately, I don't think she learned her lesson about her trolley. Well, it's a uh, Shark Week on Discovery. It is Narc Week here on the Woody Show. And as such, we are doing our classic Cart Narcs episode. This is uh, from uh, also fun accents land, uh, Dallas, Texas. Okay. Yes. Sweet. Classic Cart Narcs where this guy he leaves his cart and again. Open spot, couple spots next to him. I approach, or eight, not I, uh, Agent yeah. Cordell. That's right. Ooh. Agent Cordell, okay. who's a uh, Dallas native. Yeah. yeah. He's with the Texas Ranger Division of the Cardinals. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. <laughs> he, uh, fun fact Cordell Walker. But Walker, Texas Ranger. His first name is Cordell. That's oh wow! The, yeah. oh, okay. well, that's a little Cartnarks lore. I never lore knew that relation. Oh, yeah. Exactly, a little Cartnarks wow. lore for you there. Very nice. So he approaches this guy. Same thing, and let's hopefully maybe this American will show some class, right, guys? Whoop scoop, wheelie whoop scoop, deep deep whoop whoop whoop. Cartnarks, sir, that's uh, splitting spots right there. That's not where the cart goes. Uh, hello, Agent Cordell with the Cartnarks. That's not where the carts go. We got a bumper magnet for you. There you go. Oh, got him. Yes, sir, that's not where the car goes, sir. Damn. What are you sticking on my car? It's a bumper magnet, sir. It's got our, uh... Do that again. Number. Why is that, sir? Do you need... You have that one. Don't you ever touch my car? What's wrong with your car, sir? Ridiculous. Well, sir, you left your car down where it could touch other people's cars, sir. Pardon me, let me... It's got our phone number on it. You want to fuck with me? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. No, I... Similar to our British lady. Don't you know I'm going back to sell propane? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get back to the shop. You want to F with me? Yeah. All right, so, uh, uh, no, Agent Cordell uh, wants you to I, take your I cart. I really don't. Yeah. No, yeah, he wants you to take your cart back. You want to fuck with me? No, sir, I want you to call... Then get the hell away. I want you to take your cart back, that's what I want don't you to do. Fuck yourself. Why, why do you want me to F myself, sir? <laughs> sir, your car is... Get uh, the hell out of my way. Well, I'm not in your way, sir. That cart's in okay. somebody's way now. Right? Well, not until you take your cart back. There you go, sir, right there. Sir, what's the problem? I'm fixing to kill you. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, no. Wow. Dude. 
Uh, death threats. <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. Yeah. But now, okay, it's easy to say I'm fixing to kill you. <laughs> yeah, that's sure. like you said, that's that's a generic death threat. Yeah, yeah maybe yeah, this yeah. guy has a more specific one. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm fixing to kill you. Why would you do that, sir? Because you ain't worth a piece of shit. I am too, sir. I'll block your tax, sir. Thankfully, I'm a good dodger. Now, sir, can you just take your cart back? Sir, I'm a cart narc, Agent Cordell, and I'm a killer. Oh, oh, oh my oh. God! All right, so he's doubling down. Yeah, I'm All a right, killer. this man's I'm a killer. A killer. Uh -huh. okay. Again, it's okay. So he said he's going to kill me twice. Right. Yeah. yeah. Again, let's see ex exactly how's he going to accomplish it. And I'm a killer. Well, sir, that's not nice. I'm fixing to put about six right in your forehead. Oh, oh, oh wow, oh. six in oh. forehead. And Jeez. ammo's expensive, you know. That's right. <laughs> he must so, really hate you. Yeah. Six parentheses bullets. Right. Yeah. Right. And uh, he continues there. Yeah. I'm sorry to remember this guy in his history. Yes. And I'm a killer. Well, sir, that's not nice. I'm fixing to put about six right in your forehead. Okay, so we got that. Mm -hmm. Now he's threatening to uh, put six in your forehead. Yes. I'm fixing to put about six right in your forehead. Sir, that's against the law. I don't give a damn. What you did is harass me. No, it's not, sir. Yes, it is. That cart could harass somebody. What do you want to keep approaching me, sir? Because I'm fixing. Stay away from me. Sir, that Stay cart. Will you take your cart back where it belongs, sir? Please. In the name of Texas, I beg you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I even invoked the great and holy yeah, state of course. Yeah. Yeah. So he he walked, but again, I, I when he when he said, okay, I'll put six in your forehead. I'm going to kill you. I'm a killer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, I'm a killer. Right. Okay. So at that point, I'm not going to like go up to his car where he has he can grab literally anything. Right. Sure. And then probably get closer to him. I'm sorry. Did he, did he ever put it back? He never did. Oh. Despite all of that. Jeez. And then uh, so we posted this video, and then we got this report sent to us from CBS Texas. Now, some folks have, have got the timeline screwed up on this. What I'm about to play you is from the year prior to this Cart Narcs encounter you just heard, but it's the same guy. Same dude. Mm. In fact, he was wearing somehow the same shirt and pants. Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, when you find something that fits. Right. And yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's a very, very large, portly gentleman. So uh -huh. this is what he did the year prior on a Dallas area rapid transit train. All right. Well, Dart has determined a man who fired his handgun aboard a train last night acted in self defense. Oh, After arresting him initially, police let him go. I didn't think about gun. I was scared. He is licensed to carry, but also based on the information we had, he was acting in self-defense. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't seem like a hothead at all. No, yeah. he no. wouldn't shoot someone over a magnet on their car. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm a killer. And the by the way, the information they had was just him and some bystanders saying, "Yeah, this guy was kind of uh, menacing or whatever." Threatening yeah, did someone. he kill that person? Though? He did not. And oh. In fact, I have since gotten an email from a man who claims to be that person. I've, that uh, he got shot. Right. Saying you know it's it's kind of it kind of sucked <laughs> getting shot. Yeah. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of sucked. Uh -huh. But yeah, that he was not he was not armed. The person the quote attacker on the Dallas train right. uh, was not armed. Was not you know was not threatening or menacing. Maybe it was panhandling a little bit, yeah, but certainly no. didn't deserve to be shot in the gut by this guy. Much as Agent Cordell did not as, well the threats of being shot for a magnet. But well, there you go, ladies uh, and gentlemen. It is Narc Week here on the Woody Show. Narc, yep. Narc, Narc. What put himself in do? danger to get people to do the right do? thing and turn those cards. <laughs> Shout out to uh, both do? agents involved in this week. No, sir, I want you to call. Get the hell away. I want you to take your cart back, so I want you to do. Yourself. Why do you want me to F myself, sir? Get the hell out of my way. I'm not in your way, sir. That cart's in somebody's way now. Right? Well, not until you take your cart back. There you go, sir, right there. I'm fixing to kill you.